Hello viewers, welcome to our portal. We are ready to give you all the updates from the Hollywood world. Today you will find news on Ashley Graham's walk on the New York Fashion Week, Sophia Ritchie and her boyfriend, latest pics from the Toronto Film Festivals and many more. So watch this video till the end and get all the updates now. One of the sexiest glamorous model of recent times, Ashley Graham, who's 31 years of age has been showing off her growing baby bump in a slew of sexy outfits this New York Fashion Week. But she took her bump to the runway when she looked drop dead gorgeous on the catwalk for the Tommy Hilfiger fashion show on September 8th. Other attendees at the fashion show include the supermodel sister Gigi Hadid and Bella Hadid as Gigi used to have her very own collection with the designer as well. <music> NYFW was the perfect date night get setting for Scott Distich and Sophia Ritchie on September 8th. And he couldn't take his eyes off of her as they stepped out in the big apple holding hands. Jennifer Lopez nearly fell off a balcony during the hot slurp premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival on September 7. The singer pulled herself up before she almost toppled over a railing in a viral video. Jennifer Lopez had a scary moment while at the premiere of her new Hustler film at Toronto International Film Festival on Saturday. The singer, who is 50 years old, was standing up and waving to the crowd inside the theater when she appears to have fallen forward onto a balcony ledge overlooking the venue. Jennifer quickly stopped herself from coming. New teaser for its upcoming season. In this clip, Kim K said that she would do anything for Paris Hilton while talking to Chloe. I am going to go and be in this music video with Paris for one of her new songs. No way. Yeah. Some of Marilyn Monroe's most famous on-screen outfits are set to go under the hammer later this year as part of a major auction in Beverly Hills. Los Angeles celebrating legendary women in Hollywood, the Hollywood actor fronted several cinematic classics in the 1950s, such as The Seven Year Itch and Some, Some Like It Hot, all of which featured memorable costumes that fans can now snap up. Among the looks up for grabs at the auction, which takes place in November, do you know how much DiCaprio paid for his latest movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Wait and watch this video to get the update. Leonardo DiCaprio is still most well known for his role in the hugely successful Titanic alongside Kate Winslet. Leo has now had a long and varied film career with roles in movies like Inception, Revolutionary Road and The Revenant. He has had equal success with his girlfriends, dating model Burr Raffaele and actress Blake Lively, amongst others. He has won three Golden Globe Awards. In 2016, Leo finally took home an Oscar for Best Actor for his role in The Revenant. His recent released movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, is going extremely well in the box office. As of September 8, 2019, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood has grossed 134.4 million in the United States and Canada and 176.2 million in the other territories for a worldwide total of 310.6 million. Although the film's earnings at a great speed and it was released in Japan on the 30th of August, Leonardo DiCaprio earned a little. A variety supported that DiCaprio earned 10 million for his role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. DiCaprio's earnings power has hardly diminished in his 40s. In 2016, he celebrated a 29 million year just before he collected his first Best Actor for Oscar. With films like Revenant grossing hundreds of millions worldwide, the investment is well worth it.
by some estimates the film will need to gross around 400 million worldwide in order to turn a profit after production marketing and talent deals other estimates put the break even point at 250 million